Hi everyone, happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel Baby and today I am going to be doing my What I Spent in a Week. If you like this video guys, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe and all the good stuff. And let's get into the video. So let me grab my binder and let's see what I spent. So, going here to Sunday the 20th, I did a little shopping and I bought a new binder child, which I will show you later whenever I get it set up. I spent $11.54 at Amazon and I used the Amazon card to get the 3% back. I did some shopping on Etsy and bought some envelopes to go along with my new binder child and I spent $50.48 from Airy Dreamy, which is an Etsy shop and it's Aerie's. I think it's Airy Budget here on YouTube. She is a fellow YouTuber. So um, I use my Amazon card, which I get 1% back. Now moving on to Monday the 21st, I did have the day off. It was President's Day. Um, I had to go to the dentist um, and I spent, as you guys can see, $1,000, which I knew I was going to spend that much. Um, so that wasn't unexpected. I went ahead and used my 1%. Um, well, I, I used my Amazon Chase card, which gave me the 1% back. So I did charge it and then I paid it right off. Anything I do charge on my um, account, I do pay immediately off within three days. So I don't accrue interest. Then I went and got some food at McDonald's for $7.29. I did the food survey and I will be getting free food back. So guys, make sure that whenever you are charging something or you're purchasing something, Make sure that you read the receipt, that you're not getting free items back or free food back. Do those surveys. They're worth it. Also, if you guys are not using Fetch and Receipt Hog, they are apps that you download. You just scan a copy of your receipt, and then you get points back towards gift cards. Now, I currently use both of those. And if you guys want to use my affiliate links, I'll leave them down in the description box below. So if you want to click on those links, you get points and I get points too towards gift cards. And I also use Rakuten, which is also an app that you download. You click whatever shop you want to purchase from. It will immediately tell you the amount that you are saving whenever you click on that um, store. And then you get money back. So I, as always, leave all my affiliate links down in the description box below if you guys want to use those. So anyway... Moving on to Tuesday, I did some more shopping on Amazon. Kind of like, Amazon, please take all my money. So, they have. Now, um, whenever you use your Amazon card, which is my Visa card or Chase, however um, they have it set up, I can't remember. But anyway, the Amazon card gives you 3% back off of Amazon purchases. So, I used that card to get the 3% back. And I um, and I meant to tell you guys there, too, that was 3% off of that. Um... So I spent sixty six fifty eight, and then I went to Winn Dixie. I spent nine eighty five and used my card again and got one percent back because it gives you one percent back on other purchases. And then I um, I did a little donation for Miss Gina Renee in our budget. She is also a fellow YouTuber here in our budget community. She is going through uh, a time with her husband. He has cancer, and so she has set up a buy coffee for Gina. Um, and so I spent 25 on there. Normally, I don't tell you guys what I am giving or donating, but because, I mean, this is my what I spent in a week, then that's what I spent. So, um, normally whenever I'm doing any kind of giving, I don't tell the amounts, but because it is the video, I tell you guys what I spent. So, I spent 25 and I used my Visa card to make that purchase, and I get 1% back off of that. Um, I'll try to link her um, Buy Coffee for Gina in my description box below, too. If you guys want to donate, if you can, please do so. If you cannot donate, then go to her channel, Gina Renee, um, in our budgets. And then make sure you subscribe to her channel and give her some watch hours so she can get monetized. So anyway, or, you know, even give your prayers. She appreciates it. So that is that. So moving on to Wednesday, the 23rd, I went to CVS. I redeemed a $5 fetch reward. So guys, um, 
yet again, Fetch has come through. I am saving my re rewards for Receipt Hog for Christmas or birthday, so I'm going to use that later. But I always redeem on Fetch um, to get some of that money back right then. And so um, I went to CVS. I spent $32.68 and used my Fetch reward buck back. And I also used my Amazon card to get another additional 1% back. Then I went to Walmart and got some groceries for $21.88. I used my Walmart card to get 2% back off of my purchase. So anytime I try to um, use some kind of rewards card back so I can like be saving on top of what I'm already saving. So moving on to Thursday, I got gas, 2% um, back card, of course, Walmart. I spent $16.38. And it was $3.33 a gallon. So I am tracking that because of everything that is going out there. I'm trying to see how much gas is going to go up. So I just started doing this. I'm going to track it every time I do my shopping. But this is for regular um, gas. So Friday the 25th, I went to Honey Baked Ham. I did a survey for the last time I ate off of Honey Baked Ham, which is, oh, look at there. <laughs> um, I ate there last Friday. I didn't realize that until I just kind of looked up. So, um, that's good that I noticed that because also guys, um, on here, I saved that money. And so, um, when I, well, we'll, we'll backtrack, travel back in time to the 18th. I told you guys I used my American Express card because I had paid for something and then I returned something. So I had a credit. So that money was free. That, that food was free on that day. So I told you guys I was going to save that money back like I saved um, like I actually spent for the item, but I just saved all the money back and I'll get to that in a minute. So, um, excuse me. Anyway, I went to Honey Baked Ham and there was a, um, survey on that receipt. And so it was about one get one free sandwich. And so I got that and spent $7.94. And then I used cash for that one because I sent someone to go get it for me. And moving on to Saturday, I did a little shopping on Etsy. I'm going to move this over so you guys can see. I spent $4.87 at one shop, um, and this was trying to figure out, oh, DigiCraft Shop, um, actually, no, 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 scratch that. I made two purchases. I'm looking at what I wrote down. I went through Happy Hearts Designs and DigiCraft, and um, they're both off of Etsy, and these are di digital um, downloads, and so I spent $4.87 total. Now, DigiCraft, um, that total was $357 and Happy Heart Designs was $130. But on DigiCraft, if you bought two items, you got a three, um, not three, thirty percent off. And so I saved a one dollars and fifty-three cents. And so whenever I say something, I round up to the next dollar. And um on this Amazon purchase uh for $28.59, I got my three percent back. Um, off of there now I have or I should say I had some points and so I use that so that made this completely free so I saved that money as well and I always round up like I said to the next dollar and so um, I will be stuffing that but I have three dollars and 31 cents left in points on the Amazon which is the Amazon card that I was used to swipe so I am going to get into something a little bit new. So give me a second, guys, and I will show you. All right. So as you guys can see, I found a new challenge, the 365 Penny Challenge, which is not a new challenge out there, but it's new to me. So that's why I say new challenge that I will be doing. So whenever you save all this money here, you will have a total of $667.95. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do this challenge. It was a free download that I found. And I'm going to start from the bottom and move my way up to the top. Because normally, you guys, whenever we're doing low-income challenges, we always start from this way and go down. But down is normally the bigger items or the, the larger amount. And so I'm going to trick myself and go from the bottom to the top. So let's move on here. Now, with this challenge, you will not see physical money. I'm just going to circle and mark off that I am going to transfer the money over from my checking to my savings. So 
since this was a digital download, I decided to do this electronically and transfer. So I'm just going to go down here. And my first one that I will mark off is the $28.92. And these are crayons. I decided to use something, di something different to color these in. But I will be um, transferring this money over into my checking account whenever I get done filming. And I think that's how I'm going to handle this one. Let me guys know um, in the comments down below if you guys are doing any challenges. I know a couple of you guys are in our budget community because it makes a lot of fun. Even if you don't film, I'm sure that some of you guys are still doing some for your family or yourself to get ahead. Now, I will be in a much better financial situation next year. So this year is my hustle year and I'm just trying to get... Um, you know, this money together, these coins together, and, you know, there we go. So this money will be moved over into, color that in a little deeper, there we go. This money will be moved over into my savings account when I get off the screen. So guys, we will get into the next portion of the video, so hold tight. All right, guys, so we have Spirit here. If you're new to my channel, I do name all my binders. They are my children, and this is Spirit. So we're going to go into here. This is my challenge binder. And I'm going to go into my envelope where it says you saved. So this is where I'm going to put my extra money at to just hold it until I get to it. So this is all the money that I saved for this week. And I will get into that in a minute. So I'm going to just move my child off screen. And so... This is the money I saved on 218 for Honey Bit Ham. This was the 1588, and I round that up to the nearest dollar. So this is 16. So let's get into that. So that's 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, guys, this is the money I saved from the McDonald's survey. Um, and this was um for a sandwich and so it would have been 589 by round up to the next dollar so i got that on 221.22 and this will be six that is one two three four five six this is my fetch rewards and this is five dollars that i redeemed on 223.22 five dollars this is the money from honey baked ham that I purchased on 225.22, and this is for the food survey. It was seven, I think 29 or something like that. I just moved the binder off, but I went over it already with you guys. So this will be eight dollars. That is five, six, seven, eight. This is from the 30% off from DigiCraft that I saved one dollar and fifty-three cents, rounded up to two, and I made that purchase on 226. So that's one, two. This is from my Amazon purchase. Um, the purchase was made on 226.22, amount of 28.59, rounded up to 29. So that's 25, 6, 7, 8, and 29. So that is everything. And I'm going to take these stickers off and I'll be right back and we'll get into a mini cash stuffing and color with me. All right, guys, I had to grab my tray. So we will get started in our mini cash stuffing and color with me. Now, I will count this money. So, we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 66. So, I don't want to hear. <laughs> and yes, I don't want to hear that you cannot do this, guys. Because as you can see with my what I spent... You'll see, you well, you guys saw how I came up with this money. Money from Fetch, Receipt Hog. Then I had some money from doing the surveys, you know, with the free uh, money. And, well, I should say free money back for the free food, you know, that I would have purchased. And, you know, with saving by using my credit card. So, guys, you can do it. If you're on a low income budget, this is how you get that extra money. If you have nothing to stretch, you have to make it stretch. You have to find that money. And so I will show you guys what I'm going to do with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and see, place my money up here. And I will show you guys how I will allocate this money, this money. So these should all be ones here. 
So I broke a lot of it down in ones, a couple of fives and a 20. So I'll show you guys where this money is gonna go. So first, I'm going to finish off my February Mother's Day challenge. Yeah. Sorry, I had to move my chair up. So I'm going to go ahead and color in this rose and I'm going to put it under my binder. That way, um, it, if it bleeds through, I don't care if it gets on that. Uh oh, I'm about to color the wrong thing. But as you guys can see, you can make money appear out of nowhere. But it just takes a little bit of effort. So um, I am definitely low income. If, if this is your new, um, not new, but if this is your first time watching my channel, I am a low income budgeter here. And so I don't have a lot of money to spread around, but I have to be resourceful. And I figure with doing certain apps like the Fetch and Receipt Hog and Rakuten, I'm able to take that money that was saved and then I can apply it to one of my challenges. Um, my goal is to pay my house off this year. And so that is what I'm focusing on right now. But then I also have other medical debts that I have to pay off. And then um, a couple of medical procedures that have to be taken care of. So that's where the majority of my money is going to this year. Um, I will be, like I said earlier, in a better financial situation. So this is definitely a hustle year. And so I'm just trying to make this money stretch the best way I can. So... I have completed February's Mother's Day, and then I have March and then April. So we're done with that one. So now I'm going to, uh-oh, I didn't put the money in. Let me grab Spirit. I'm jumping ahead of the game here. So we have Spirit here, and that's where I keep my Mother's Day challenges in here. And let me go into Mother's Day. And we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. And that's going to get 10. So I'm going to grab two fives. And for Mother's Day so far, I have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, and 80 in Mother's Day so far. So what I don't use on her gift or food then I will just give to her in a Mother's Day card so she can just get whatever she wants to. So that is that one for Mother's Day. And I'm going to move on to Daisy right now. Daisy is my financial binder, and I'm going to go into retirement. So I have a new challenge, and this is the card for this. Now I'm trying to max out my Roth IRA. Each year you can contribute up to 6,000 and so I should write that but I will get to that later and I'll write the 6,000 on there but on here I've designated each brick to be 20 and so that's where this 20 is going to go so let me grab my and this is dry erase these aren't um, permanent markers because I hate trying to scrub a permanent marker off and also guys to um as a side note, if you do use any kind of dry erase, it is a devil of a time trying to use a green one. And I was going to color each one of these little dollar signs green. And I tried it on another challenge and it took the act of God to get that off. So I will not be using green, I don't think, anytime soon. So the black works just as fine. And so I'm going to go in here. And right now, in this retirement savings that I have with me, I have 100, so that's gonna be 120 in there right now. And I'll put the goal amount on there the next time you guys will see that. All right, so we're done with Daisy and moving on to Trudy. Trudy is my mom's binder. This is her child. And the next video that you guys will see, well, maybe not the next one, maybe the one after the next one, I'll have different envelopes in here. So I won't have these anymore. I'm going to change up for her because I found some that I think she'll like better. So I'm trying to encourage her to use her binder. And I think with the new envelopes, she will like and then want to use the binder more. So we're going to move on to personal. 
and I have my little cheat sheet off to the side. So I'm just going to scratch off the ones that I'm doing right now. So personal right now is going to get a dollar. So let's see. Let's go in here. And I do have a tracker in the back. Turn it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. So she has one right, right now in that category. I'm going to get a... And these are just markers from the dollar. It's the um, Jot brand that I'm using. And they're supposed to be scented. So I'm like, oh, that's a great deal. You know, a dollar for uh, four markers or well, five markers. But only this purple one that smells like grape is the only one that really smells. The other ones are kind of like dud. So if you get the ones from the Dollar Tree, they're not really worth the money unless you just really don't care. So, I'm going to grab a dollar out of here and stick in hers, and that will make two dollars because each heart on this challenge is going to be a dollar for the something I love, which is Mama Cat, and I do love her. So, she is the someone I love, or on here, the something I love. So, we're done with that one, and that's just extra money that I'm giving her, just as kind of like a little gift. Um, let's see. I didn't put anything in housing. So, moving on to groceries. It's going to get $2. So, right now, we have a dollar in there. So, I'm going to grab one, two, and that will make three. So, I'm going to color in two of the little presents. And this is money I'm going to bless Mama Cat with um, probably next year sometimes. I want to be able to just hand over Trudy to her and then for her to be shocked that she has all this money in here. And that might be kind of one of the gifts I will give her for Christmas slash New Year's. Yeah, that kind of would be a cool Christmas present. Like I can wrap Trudy up under the tree and then like when she opens it, she'll see all this cash in her binder. That would be kind of cool. I don't know why I didn't think about that until now. So I think that's what I will do, guys. So I definitely, um, anytime I have a little extra, I need to just definitely stuff Trudy. Okay. So we have $3 in there now for groceries. And so... There we go. I'm going to scratch it off. I have my little cheat sheet over here. So that's what I'm looking at. So, um, okay, we got groceries, personal, retirement. I'm sorry if this video is going to be a little long, but I have a lot of little mini challenges. So we're going to go to insurance. So in insurance, we have $1 and insurance is going to get $2. Let me grab two out of here. So right now it's just has that single dollar. So I will add two and that will be three if I can get that out there. That's one, two, three. And I will color in, let's see, two of these presents. Oh, that's one down and let me grab and that pink looks just like the orange uh that's all right it's colored in that's all that matters okay and that's two and the next one i'm gonna go to debt now debt it's going to get six dollars because I'm a I'm going to color in this envelope here. Actually, you know what? Uh-uh. I'm gonna give it one. I'm gonna tell you why because I already have um, this five that was extra that I couldn't color in. Right now we have fifteen in debt right now, so I'm gonna give this one to go with this five. Let's do that. So I'm going to color in the six. Let's see. I already picked that color. 
I forgot I had that five left over. I think that was a game night um, five. And so I didn't have enough to color. And if you're doing these challenges um, and you don't have enough to color in, just get a safety, not a safety pin, my goodness. Get a paper clip and clip it to the challenge so that way you know that that was extra. And whenever you do have enough to color in, then you can add to that. So there is a tip for you there. There we go. So right now I have 10, 15, 20, and one in this mini challenge. And this is for any kind of medical bills that are out there lingering that we are not aware of that have to be paid off. So let's go to, let's see. Oh, travel is going to get $1. There's one in there right now. So let's give travel $1. So that'll make two in travel. And let me color off a plane. This is if we have to travel out of town for any kind of medical expenses. All right, I should say medical procedures, not expenses, but I guess it is medical expenses. Okay. So there we go. And I know now I will not buy any more cheap markers because these are already, you know how it has like the little fraying at the bottom of the marker. So I won't be buying any more of those because it's already doing that. And we will move on to, let's see. Um, we're going to do this savings. This is the rainy day savings for Mama Cat. And each rainbow is going to be $5. And so... Right now, she has 10 in there right now because there's two rainbows colored. And so, let me color in one of the rainbows. And what color am I going to do? Let's do... Hmm, I'm running out of colors here. Let me just do yellow at the top. And I will do maybe, do I have an orange? Yeah. I'll do orange at the bottom. So this is like the very small emergencies that she might have. And let me put that, I don't know why I put that tin right back in there. So right now she has 10, 15 in her rainy day. And I believe that's all for Trudy. Let me double check, guys. Let's see. Oh, no, there's one more. I am going to do this one, which is her $300 challenge. So I'm going to do seven. So let me grab five, six, and seven. So that is five, six, and seven. And that's going to go in here. Okay. Let's see if I can get that five. Okay, so right now, after that's colored, she'll have 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So she'll have 106 so far out of 300. And let me grab my markers for that one and see, let's see, let's do a yellow envelope. And let's do a blue heart. And now that is, we're done with Trudy. So let me grab Spirit. I'll be right back. All 
right, back to spirit here, guys. So we're going to go in here, and I'm going to do a couple of challenges in here. So I am going to go into my rainy day fund and get this one. Let me turn this around so you guys can see what I'm doing. So right now, each one here is five for me. And I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten right there. And so I'm going to give my rainy day five. So that's five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that money in here. And then I will color off a rainbow. This was, I don't know why I thought that this was going to go way quicker, but that's okay. If you guys don't want to sit through all this, I totally understand because this was way longer than I expected it to be, but I am very thankful I had the money, and so I'm going to go ahead and stuff it. And I didn't get close to that line at all. <laughs> Not at all. Let me see. Let's do a pink, see if I can clean that up. There we go. Ah, that's good enough. So, we have 15 for mine. And then I'm going to move back here to giving. Now, guys, I want to start back to doing my giving envelope because I was taking the money out of my buffer. And I want to be able to account for it. Not saying that I'm watching the money that I'm giving out. But I just want to be able to have a fund that's separate than my buffer account to do giving with. So giving, I'm going to give that $1 for right now. I'm just going to take one out of here. And each one of these rainbows in this one is just a dollar. So let's do that. Okay, I see why the other rainbow was so messy. Yeah, these, I don't know if you guys can see at the bottom. Let me see. But you see how that's fraying? So that's what it's doing. So I might not be able to use these for anything. Uh-oh. Might not be able to use these for anything small. I see now that's what's happening. So that's, it made my rainbow not pretty. Okay. And... I think the last one that I will do, maybe not last one. Let me see. I did have the extra $5. So let me turn it this way so I can see what I'm doing. And let's see. I might do some to Christmas and then some to my 500 challenge. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So let's see. Got one extra. I tell you what, I'm gonna give two dollars to giving. How about that? Let's do two to giving. Let's backtrack. And I'm gonna color in another rainbow. These dreaded markers. Let's go into this one. And I'm going to top that one off with the pink here. Yeah, definitely don't buy these markers. They're not good quality. Okay, so that makes two forgiving. And then I'm going to give half to Christmas and half to my 500 challenge. So I'm going to use my dry erase so I don't have to use those markers anymore. So Christmas, right now I have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm going to grab five ones. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and Christmas now I have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, and 24. Oh, 24 for Christmas. Okay, let me grab my green dry erase here. And I'm going to color in one of these fives. All 
All right. So that is done. And this is a $300 challenge. And that's going to be money that I'm going to use for presents under the tree and to give cash. So that is what that one's for. And then the last one is going to be for the 500 challenge. So right now in the 500 challenge, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11. And this gets the last five. So that is going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And I will color in a five. Let me get, let's do orange. And I pray to God, just thought about that because I was using the colors on these. I hope that they're not going to stain. I didn't think about that until now, but yikes, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> I'm worried for myself and my patients trying to get these markers off these trackers, but hopefully it will be okay. Say a prayer for me, guys. All right, well, that's it. And it was a lengthy video. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. And I will see you guys later in the next video with my cash stuffing. Until then, I love you guys. And thank you for all the love, shares, comments, supports, and for subscribing to my channel. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.